Hi, I'm Charlotte Dryden, and I am the Creative Development Coordinator here at the OEA Music Centre. My name is Paul, I'm an Outreach and Admin Officer here at the OEA Centre. It's a new project called Scratch My Progress, where we take on artists and work with them over a series of months uh, and give them as much information about the industry as possible. Um, put together a CD which I have in front of me. Tonight is all about the showcase event. My name is Catherine Philippa and I am a singer-songwriter. Scratch My Progress is basically a, a mini development program um, which takes you through basically everything you you know should know as, a, as an artist in, in the world. Um, because it is a, a place that you can easily feel lost in. Oh yeah, is, is, is here as a hub, uh, a music hub, and there are various businesses operating from within the building. You walk through our doors and everything is sitting here ready to go. You know, you can knock on a door and speak to Third Bar, you can open another door and there's Small Town America, you can open another door and there's Score Draw Music. Both young, old, anyone who wants to further their musical career can come here, they can network, and they can meet people who will help them build their career. The scheme is just sort of, uh, it's like walking into, into a house and all the lights coming on. You know, stuff's illuminated and you know, you can start to explore, you know, with open eyes. And we've had uh, Domino Records talking on a photo shoot as well by Carrie Davenport. So it's supportive, it's a boost as well as growth, you know. Our, our mantra is uh, open doors to music potential and this project is about spotting music potential. My name is Connor Brown. I like to write um, sort of electro pop. Two solo artists and two bands were selected basically for the project and um, we were selected. It was almost like a, I sort of saw it in a way, it was like an investment in us, you know, an investment in our future because they were sort of uh, letting us do things uh, like letting us meet new people and giving us access to practice rooms, rehearsal rooms, recording studios. One of the most worthwhile things I think was the contacts I've made and um, I've, I've talked to people like who are working with Snow Patrol and, and Van Morrison and you know like some of the top names like real real top names and those contacts that I have you know they're not contacts for me that are just going to disappear you know. I'm Rachel Austin. I was doing vocal coaching for the Scratch program here at Oh Yeah. Basically I kind of just went over a variety of things with them, good vocal health, um, just watching them also with their stage technique. Here at Oya, there's a lot of resources available to them. It's a pretty valuable experience. We felt nothing was too small. You know, we looked at stage management, we looked at invoicing, we looked at PR, we looked at uh, how to do interviews, uh, how to contact people, how to use Facebook, and, you know, how you're going to pay your rent. So we, we looked at all these things in depth. I'm Mark, I'm a bassist in Everyday Superheroes. We had so many different industry people come in. There was a guy from Domino Records, there was, uh, there was different lawyers and stuff and all, and it was a fantastic insight into the way the whole thing works and the whole like business side of it rather than just getting on stage doing you know what we do best kind of thing. I haven't met 22nd Century and uh, Catherine and Connor. I kind of made me feel you know, there, are, there are different ways of being a great band. Hey, um, my name's Andy. I play guitar and do backing vocals for 22nd Century, which is three quarters of, of which are with me. Today uh, it's a showcase for the Scratch My Progress program, which uh, we're part of the roster on. I think the idea was to take a couple of fresh acts, um, unknown acts, who uh, I guess the judges saw potential in, and sort of thought over the next six months, let's give these guys a hand. There's so many uh, things that you just wouldn't have thought of that they've kind of been showing us, you know, like uh, sort of everything to do with the legal side of things. I mean, we, we didn't Yeah, we didn't know what a PRS or a PPL was until we started and they were like, this is this. And so you need yeah, to have money. that, otherwise <laughs> yeah. you're really just playing music to no one. It's maybe more positive about it all. Um, it makes you think you could maybe do it as a career if you really sort of has proven that we need to put the effort in. We're going to have to like, work really hard if we want to do anything with it. Hopefully over the summer now, um, summer 2012, I'll be recording a few more tracks, I'll be working with more people, and um, I'd love if people could keep in touch and keep checking up on what I'm doing, you know, because I really appreciate it. And, you know, hopefully over the next few months we'll be hearing a few different songs anyway, so. Next step is practice as much as we can. There's a few new tunes floating about, like, and then hopefully just keep going and going, touring, doing as much as we can. I'd say the OES oh Centre definitely is like, um, you know, to have that base whenever you walk into a house to kind of 
where people gather or you know where you can talk stuff over. You know, I think I think everybody needs that. We're not saying we can make you a famous, you know, artist and we can't take credit for some of the great things that have happened to the guys, but I think we've given them confidence yeah. and given them tools to be yeah. able to deal with things more confidently and also understand things a bit better. It's been really interesting because we've seen this journey. You know, and looking back six months ago, we saw four very different people than the people we see today. And some of the highlights for me are, are hearing Conor Brown on radio, you know, Arts Extra, seeing Catherine Philippa on in the Ulster Hall with the Ulster Orchestra, you know, watching 22nd Century and listening to them playing on that CD that we produced. And of course, everyday superheroes seeing, you know, this act just get bigger and better. And it's it's just been so worthwhile.